Girl, like, I'm just happy to be back. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi. I'm in the car again. I'm about to go in and get my nails done. It is Monday and my channel got hacked. Who knows when you all will see this, but I thought I would start a vlog today because I'm actually out and about in the community. Those of you from Baltimore will understand that. This is what I have currently, just a cute little like French, it's not really focusing, but cute little like French situation, different colors and stuff like that. I actually wanna do that whole kind of mismatch, different design on each finger type of trend. I'm quite excited because this is the first time that I've actually ventured out and experimented with my nails in quite some time. I'm trying to think if I'm going to cut these down. I don't wanna go much longer than this because sis is accident prone and I just cannot. For those of you who are going to ask, my hair is in a very shrunken wash and go. Uh, if you would like to know what I use, I'll leave the products down in the description box. But for now, I am going to go get these done because it's time. Completely left y'all hanging after I got my nails done. It is Saturday. I got my nails done on Monday. My bad. I'm going to have to insert a clip of my nails just because both of my hands are different. Before we even get real deep into this vlog, those of you who follow me on Instagram and still follow me here, you know that my channel got hacked. And listen, I was in a frenzy. I have been a hot mess for the last like week and a half trying to get that together. And all I could do after I had a mental breakdown was just keep working. So that way, if and when my channel got restored, I would have content ready. Now that my channel is finally back up and running, I'm just feeling like I'm playing catch up. And I just, I'm lacking the discipline and the motivation to play catch up at this moment, but I have work to do. To be honest with you all, I'm so behind. A huge part of me is just like F August, let's come back in September. But I'm grateful to have most of you and I'm grateful to have accountability partners that are just like, no girl, we gotta keep pushing. So I will definitely have an in-depth video regarding the whole hack situation. I wanna share my experience so that way it won't be in vain. Like I said, I'm stuck playing catch up with deadlines and with editing and it's just, it's just very ghetto. All of that is my roundabout way of saying thank you to everyone who reached out. I got emails, I got DMs, I got texts. I got comments on my Instagram content and support. People who have reported, like all of you, thank you so, 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 so much because I lost my damn mind. I worked too damn hard for that shit to be happening to me and I just, I had no idea what the hell to do. But like I said, I have an in-depth video about the entire situation and my process to getting my channel restored coming. I'm in the process of organizing my information for that so that way it's eloquent and effective and it's gonna be able to help somebody because apparently this shit is just, is mainstream. It's just happening to a whole lot of creators, which is not okay. And if I just share my situation and my process, maybe just maybe it'll save some creators some time and some money. And most importantly, help Google not drag their ass when this happens to people. It is the weekend. As you can see, I have clay in my hair because I'm trying to detoxify my scalp because it needs it. I'm actually going to be filming a super affordable wash day. And guess what? I finally found some affordable, curly girl friendly natural hair products. So I'm going to be experimenting with those today. But you all know I like to double cleanse. So I wanted to do a clay first. So that way that'll serve as my first cleanse and as a detox, but it's also going to give my hair some moisture slip and softness before I go in with those affordable products. I've been wanting to do a clay detox on my scalp for quite some time, and I just haven't gotten around to it because I have so much freaking work to do, but I finally got around to doing it. I'm also gonna experiment with a new style in my hair, new to me anyway. We gonna see how that turn out. I'm also still trying to figure out how to go about this whole decluttering process. Bear with me, it's coming. I just don't know how and I don't know when, but it's coming. This morning I actually posted on my community tab asking if you all preferred a shower routine or a chit chat. In retrospect, I actually should have asked you all what you prefer after today's video goes up, but that's fine. I still need to know what you all prefer with regards to the wash day routines anyway, so whatever. I think that that's all that I had to talk to you all about in this moment, so yeah, I'll holler at y'all in a minute. It's been hours since the last clip that you saw. No, I still have not washed this clay out my hair, regardless. I just came to say that sometimes as a creator, especially if you're like branching out and trying to broaden your horizons and expand your brand, 
You know what I'm saying? It can be really disheartening and discouraging just because you don't get the engagement or, you know, the support that you would hope for sometimes. And there are some black fragrance girls that I love to watch, such as Johnny Antoinette, such as Karina Waldron, such as Takara Thompson, such as Opinionated Scents. To be honest with you, I have been really down with regards to my viewership when it comes to my fragrance content. And recently, since my channel has been back, I have been getting some support from some of those creators I just mentioned who, like I said, I adore. And that has inspired me, okay, to keep on pushing. In fact, I am going to go wash my hair so that way I can get my next planned fragrance video up because that, that was what I needed and I didn't know that I needed it. So shout out to Takara Thompson and Opinionated Sense for commenting on my content recently because listen, my soul has been tired and I just needed to see that. So I appreciate you ladies so very much. Okay, obviously I've already started washing my hair, which is why I look a hot ass mess. It's been a couple hours since the last clip, but I've gotten some, gotten some mail. I told you all in a previous vlog that I was making some financial moves in my life. So I haven't really bought myself anything in a while, except perfume, of course. Anyway, let me stop telling y'all my business. I actually ordered me some graphic t-shirts because that has just been my jam for quite some time, especially this summer. It's too hot, try to be cute. I'm trying to be comfortable, okay? This first one is, and I actually got this shirt in two colors. So I got it in that, Asphalt Gray, I think was the name of it. And I got it in black, so that way it matches my soul. I also like to wear graphic t-shirts with things that just mean something to the culture or just artists that I love. This is the next one I got with Hillman College on it. I mean, come on, if you don't know that reference, you're too young and get off my channel. And I got this one as well with Michael Jackson on it because that is the artist of all artists as far as I'm concerned. He is my absolute favorite entertainer of all time, in case you didn't know. Fun fact, okay? I wish these shirts were gifted. They were not. I spent my hard earned money on them, but it was a great deal. I got all of them for about 40 bucks. I highly doubt that the sale is still going on, but I'll leave the website linked down below in the description box. For now, I'm just gonna finish my wash day filming process and I'll see y'all a little bit later. New day, you know what I'm saying? hair clean, you know what I'm saying, tucked away under this hat. I'm actually on the way to take my dog to get groomed. In fact, he's he's right here. Let me show you this little engrave. Coco, you say hi to the people? <laughs> so yes, he is not with the shits. He does not like going to get groomed. He doesn't like going to the vet, obviously. He just, he just don't. Are you gonna, are you gonna show the people your before look? Okay, <laughs> come on, let's go. See you later. <laughs> All right, so we dropped the kid off. I am going to go head back home and get some work done and wait for them to call me. I totally just realized that I don't walk out the house without my glasses. Fortunately, I'm not, you know, breaking too many laws. And you know what I'm saying? I'll make it home safely, but I'm going to make sure I have my glasses when I come pick him up. Two hours later. This is a Normani Stan adjacent account. Here's the thing. I love Normani. You know what I'm saying? She was my absolute favorite, obviously, in Fifth Harmony. And honestly, team F Camilla Cabello, like that's how that's how I ride for Normani. I am hopeful that she comes out with a project that is going to, you know, show her capabilities. Like sis hits the Mariah Carey notes, okay? And I just feel like she was underutilized in Fifth Harmony, and I just want her to kind of pinpoint a sound, a direction in which her music is going to go in. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna support regardless, because I love Normani, but I just wanted to put that out there. Anyway, I'm going to go pick up the Cokester, and of course, I'll show you all how he looks after his spa appointment. Dog is really going to the spa with no job, and I, I feel some type of way about it. Hello, hello, hi there. I guess you're ready to go. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good one. Are you, are you, are you feeling sexy?
Okay. Okay, it's another day. We're in the car, running some errands. I'm actually on my way to Cosmoprof, which is basically, you know, the mecca of licensed cosmetologists. They get to go in there and get all types of products that only they can use. Not only are these products that only licensed cosmetologists can use, they get them at a fantastic discount. I am not a licensed cosmetologist. Oh shit, please. Now, to be clear, I am not a licensed cosmetologist. Howsomever, I have great friends that allow me to use their things. So I'm on my way to Cosmoprof so that way I can finally try this Olaplex number three treatment. I've been wanting to try that for quite some time, but Sheree is just like, sis, you need it. So I'm going to go grab that. Oh, and I might pick up their new deep conditioner too while I'm there, depending on the pricing. We gonna see. Honestly, this Cosmoprof location that I just went to was very underwhelming. It was giving Sally Beauty. It was actually giving Sally Beauty end of business sale. Now that you can just be a regular person buy an Olaplex, I think it's like $30. Whereas in Cosmoprof, the shit is $14. Okay, it's been quite some time since the last clip. And I actually remembered that I forgot to show you all what I got from Cosmoprof. So of course, like I said, the first thing I got is the original Olaplex hair perfector number three, which is to repair and strengthen all hair types looks like that i wish they had the larger packaging in the store but i didn't see it except for like the other products of the line so if i really like it then i'll just wind up ordering it online and i picked up the new deep conditioner i was telling you all about which is the olaplex number eight bond intense moisture mask which looks like that and you can see this is a small as hell too. I'm looking at the ingredients of the number three treatment and I'm not seeing silicone. However, the number eight moisture mask does have dimethicone as the second ingredient. So it's very silicone heavy. So I probably won't try this out until the next time I get a silk press. But just an FYI, the moisture mask from Olaplex is not curly oil friendly. I also want to open this package that I received from Longcomb. In case you don't follow me here on YouTube, on Instagram, or on TikTok, Longcomb Idol is one of my favorite fragrances. It is one of my favorite floral perfumes and I wear it all the time. It's one of my most inexpensive fragrances and it's one of my most complimented. So Lancome actually just came out with a new flanker called Idol Aura and I was gifted this so thank you so 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 much. Of course I'll be mentioning this and sharing my experience with it in one of my future fragrance videos so I can't wait to try this. There's also this little gift bag situation that came. Cheap little toiletry bag. And I think it's filled with all types of samples. Is and is. First, I got this rehydrating comforting toner. Super cute. I got the Hydra Zen, which is an anti-stress moisturizing cream gel. They also included this comforting makeup remover milk, which looks like this. They also included this advanced Genifique something, something, something or other. There's a delicate powder blush. Let me see what this look like. Because if this is ashy, which it might be, I might give this away. And last but not least, they included this ultra shiny hydrating gloss. And y'all know I am a gloss girl, as you can see. So that is everything that I picked up from Cosmoprop, as well as the products that were gifted to me through Lancome. If you want to pick up the fragrance or any of the products that I mentioned today, please make sure you check the description box for direct links to each product. Of course, if you choose to make a purchase through any of the links down below, I do receive a small commission, but this is at no extra cost to you. And in case this doesn't go without saying, I truly appreciate your support. So I think I'm going to wrap up today's vlog here. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. On your way to watching another video of mine, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please be safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.